Uh, it used to be the solar lighting was pretty dim, rather weak, if you will. Uh, I like spotlights because it really adds an architectural interest to your home. That's number one. Second of all, if you have an American flag in your yard, out of respect, that should be lit every single night. This is a three-way mounting system. You can either kerplunk it on the ground with a metal stake that comes with it. You can screw it into a wall, or in this case, that was right up against the side of the house, or it can be mounted to a post with a zip tie system as well. And when you see the amount of light that comes off yeah. of this thing, you won't believe it's solar. Jeff no. Meyer, welcome back. How are you? Good to see you again, Jeff's Dan. Gonna, you're going to be a busy man today. You and I are going to do a lot of work together. Okay, let's do okay, it. We've got like three or four items to do. This is a huge solar collector and then a spotlight, not just a little walkway light or an ambient light, that's real light. This is the largest solar uh, mm -hmm. floodlight I've, I've ever seen. I want to show you the panel on this one right here. Take a look at that solar panel. And this thing's built like a beast. It is. It's that's made, all cast aluminum, It's all right? cast aluminum, okay. but you look at the solar panel. If you, if you had a walkway set yeah. and you took all those panels that are on top of the walkway set, they're usually about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. This would be about the equivalent of eight or 10 walkway sets. So you get an idea of how much power is going into the batteries inside to light up these three bright white. I'll turn that off for a second. See in there, see those three LEDs? Mm -hmm. They're called surface mount LEDs. They throw the light out to the side, not just straight. So you will be able to light up the side of your house 20, 25 feet, one big circle if you want, or put it closer, maybe just light up your front door, your mailbox, your pool. Your American flag, you're absolutely correct. You're supposed to have a light on it at night. And probably uh, some Eagles need. Some Eagles fans probably are lighting up their flag yeah. also. Well, that's, uh, and listen, I, anybody who puts the American flag out in front of their home, I yep. salute them, I'm, I'm pretty yep. pleased. But it does pet peeve for me driving by at night to see a flag that's not lit. Uh, well, I, I have an American flag that's not lit, so you're supposed to take it down at dusk. You do not leave it up at that's night exactly unless it's right. lit, and that's, you know, that's the, what you should the, do. The pa panel is fully adjustable, Yes. and you've got thumb nuts on each side to adjust. So I can either kerplunk this in the ground, and that's a nice, sturdy metal stake, or it can be mounted on a wall. Right. It can be mounted, I've got one on a bracket that we've done to the tree, but it throws a lot of light. When you see right. it this way, yeah. You won't really get an idea of just how much you're lighting up, but if you've got something of architectural interest in your yard, like our, our Meyer lemon tree that we'll be showing you a little later but, on. But take a look, look at my arm, look how bright it is. This on Meyer lemon lighting. tree, which is fantastic. Now I'm just gonna drop it away for a second. We're in complete darkness. Uh huh. Now you can see the amount of light. This is probably brighter than any flashlight you would have. I'm gonna drop it away again. This gives you an idea. When we shine it towards the house, you get a better idea of how bright it is. Maybe we'll just take a walk to the house. Take, take yeah, your light with you, Dan, why not? I don't have my light on. You gotta turn, turn it on. Yep. There you go. Right here. I get that one? Yeah, why not? Thank you, sir. Let's take uh, a walk back I to the house. I have up lighting in my trees. And it was purposely done just for the sole effect and emotion of lighting up this gigantic Pardon elm tree friend. that's in our backyard. Sure. So now, if you want to use these, they can be somewhat security lighting. And what Jeff and I are doing is we're beaming two of them towards the house at the same time. Well, you just do the but, one right there. But now I'm doing I, can, one. I can see to put a key in a door. Sure. If this were a stone facade, lighting that up is a beautiful effect. That's an amazing amount of light. Isn't for it solar. amazing? I'm just going to walk under. We have a little porch area here just to give you an <laughs> idea again of the amount of light you're gonna get out of this. You know, we've sold solar lights before and, and you know, you kind of get what you pay for, Dan. And this may be, yeah, it's a little more than you would expect, but you wouldn't expect this amount of light. You, look what you can do, you can do uh... <laughs> <laughs> Shadow puppets. <laughs> Shadow puppets, I'm doing an alligator <laughs> right there. So anyway, I'm gonna take it away, and then bring it back. So you really get an idea of what we're talking about. This is one of the brightest lights I've ever brought to QVC. You can just stake it in the ground, that simple. Look at the size of it. You know, you can have your own Academy Awards at your house. You put one of these <laughs> yeah. on either side and start flashing them back and forth. But look at the brightness on that front door. The one thing about solar lighting, Dan, I don't care what it looks like, how pretty it is, we're buying it for one reason, for light. Yeah, no, I agree. And this yep. is a fixture that really does what it's supposed to do. At, at $37.42. So it's affordably priced enough that sure. you can add it to those areas. and. There's two different thought processes. Architectural lighting is there to add visual interest at night, sure. but then you can also use it to just extend your outdoor time. Uh, because they're cast aluminum, weather does not affect these in any way, shape, or form. No. If it snows, it snows, it rains, it rains. 
Let's say you've got the fire pit out there. Let's say it. Or you've got a little garden area. Now you can beam that light to where you want. And a lot of you, if you've never done it before, up lighting for the Andre, side of a house, side of a house. This trees. is the one you can do it with because yep. the way it articulates, what you would do is turn this up on your house, okay? Up right. on the side wall, then take this panel and put it at whatever angle the sun comes by, whatever side of the house you have. So this is charging, and this will shoot that light up the side of your house. It will look fantastic because why? Because of the brightness. This is the brightest flood I've ever brought to QVC, and it really does what it's supposed to do, light everything up. You look at it, it looks different. It looks big. The, the light itself, this is probably twice the size of any other floodlight we've had. It's like a headlight. And it, Dan? You're right. We'll put one of these on the front of our tractors. We both have tractors. <laughs> that would actually We're always knocking idea. the lights out of our tractors, our Kubota, whatever. But that's the brightness you're going to get, kind of like a headlight, like Dan said. Look at that. We have our lights fully up. You can no, see how no bright And no wiring it. to deal with. See that? No electrical connections no. that need to be made. And no disappointment in the box. When you get it home, yep. I, I really... I, when you get it home, I love this. Everybody at QVC says, I can't believe it's that bright. It's the one solar light we say, don't look into the solar yeah. light because you're going to see stars. Coming up, Jeff is going to bring to us from, from the folks at Veranda Living the brand new outdoor rugs. They're not mats. So many of these mats are made of the same plastic material as the stirring sticks you 